He knows all things. Nothing is hidden from God. We can't fool God. We can't fool God. God knows all things. He knows all about us. So he is, he's saying, cast all your cares. Not some of them, but all on him. He's our provider. Praise God. He's our provider. But we got to use wisdom. When God provides for us, we got to use wisdom. We can't just be wild with our finances. We have to ask the Lord to help us with our finances. Praise God. Help us to know how to spend. First of all, we need to give God first our tithes. Praise God. In our offering. And then we will be blessed. We are blessed. But we need to ask God. He said in James, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and upbraideth not. So if we are having problems in any area, finances, in, in uh, our children, or our home, or uh, our workplace, or in the marketplace, wherever we are, if we're having problems, we need to go to God and say, Lord, I need your help. Amen. He's there. He's the same yesterday, yes. today, and forever. He never changes. Never. 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 He's there for us. Amen. Saints of God. We need to realize this, that God is here for us. Amen. Praise God. We can call him at midnight. We can call him in the morning. We can call him, praise God, uh, early morning. We can call him late at night. His line is never busy. And he's never late. He's always on time. All things are possible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. Praise God. Praise God. And number seven, there is a payday. Someday. There's a payday someday. We're going to have to stand before God and give our account for the things that we do in this body. There's a payday someday. It's good to occasionally see the fruits of our labor here. It's good. It's nothing wrong with seeing the fruits of our labor. The things that we are doing. It's, it's nothing wrong with, with uh, uh, being blessed on our jobs. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with being blessed with a nice home and nice car. It's nothing wrong with that. To see the fruit of our labor. How we have dedicated and consecrated, uh, consecrated our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. And committed ourselves to him. It's nothing wrong with that. Praise God. But this is not our payday. This is not our payday. Praise God. This is not our payday. If this is all that you hope for. You are men and women most miserable. If this is your payday. Praise God. You need to realize that this is not your payday. Praise God. Praise God. You're either going to heaven or hell. One of the two. And we're to pick the one we want to go to. Praise God. God is not going to force us to accept him as our personal savior. He will not force us. Praise God. You have a will. You can will to do good. You can will to accept Christ. Praise God. But this is not our payday. God has something so much better waiting for us. Jesus is coming soon to give us our reward. We don't want to be encumbered by this world's goods. 
Rather, we should learn how to do good to help others, to surprise others with a blessing. And we must especially bless those in the church, the household of faith. So this is not our payday. We're all looking forward to go to heaven, go to heaven one day. We're all looking forward to that. The streets of gold. Our moms and dads that have gone on before us, our brothers and sisters. We're looking forward to going to heaven. But the only way that you can go to heaven, you must be born again. Praise God. You must be born again. That's what in John 3, that's what the Lord told Nicodemus. Praise God. Nicodemus, you must be born again. You cannot enter the heaven, the, uh, uh, the kingdom of heaven. You must be born again. And, and Nicodemus thought, how can I be born again? Can I enter the second time into my mother's womb? He said, no, Nicodemus, you must be born again. And in John 14, 1 and 10, it says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And where I am, there you may be also. So one day, praise God, we want to go to heaven, don't we? Praise God. We want to go to heaven. We want to go to heaven. Praise God. So the Lord is telling you and me to don't give up. Even if you become discouraged, don't give up. Don't give up. Continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand. He's there for you. Your family may desert you. Your co-workers may talk about you. Your neighbors may say nasty things about you, but God is for you. But God is for you. He loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He loves you. What is love? God is love. He loves each and every one of us. Stand, please. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you do love us. We thank you, Lord, that you are here for us. You said you'd never leave us or forsake us, that you'd always be with us. And we thank you for that. We thank you for our brothers and sisters in Christ that are here. We're gathered together in your name, Lord. We thank you. Is there anyone here today you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? You backslidden or, or this is your first time or that you want to come back to the Lord. Maybe you straight away. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Praise God. Is there any unsaved people in the uh, uh, congregation today? You're saved. I mean, you're unsaved. You have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Praise God. Praise God. If you are, I'd like for you to come to the altar. And we can pray with you. If not, you know your stand. You know where you stand with God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. Maybe someone here today, Lord, that needs deliverance. Lord God, maybe, they, maybe there's someone here today that needs healing in their body. Maybe someone here today that needs strength, Lord God. Maybe someone here today that has a child that has strayed away. We ask you to bless each and every one that's here, Lord God. Touch
touch them by your spirit and by your power, Lord. Continue to use them in a mighty way. Continue to be with them. May they realize you'll never leave them or forsake them. You're always there with them. Lord, bless this congregation, Lord God. Continue to use them. Continue to supply all their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. God bless you.